Hi Capricorn, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for November 8th through the 14th. I hope everybody's doing well. I've already thoroughly shuffled your cards. I do want to remind you, however, that this is a general reading and therefore it may or may not resonate with everyone here. Um, if it doesn't resonate, check your other astrological signs and placements and you can check out those readings that may resonate better. Um, also, I hope you will throw your energy in with us by subscribing to the channel. It does help me to pick up on your energy a little bit better. And I'd like to remind you too that if you want a personal reading, I can um, accommodate you with that. They are open right now and the directions are in the box below. So what we're going to do, Capricorn, we're going to grab your energy. We're going to get the energy of the person you're connected with. And then we're going to get the energy of the connection itself, whether you're in communication or not. So, Spirit, can I have the energy of Capricorn for November 8th through the 14th? All right, so we have the Six of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, and the world in reverse. So Capricorn, it looks to me as if there is a situation here um, that involved a um, possibly a lack of give and take, um, but I feel as if your focus is on an equal give and take. And um, I feel as if this is something that is progressing and you're kind of waiting. You're you're in a position here of waiting. You're seeing how this is going to turn out. I do feel like you're kind of giving this your positive energy, and that's a very good place to be. Um, I don't feel like you're really negative with this, and I feel as if you're just kind of sitting back now. You're in a position of waiting um, after having kind of invested into it, pouring your energy into it, and you're waiting now to see is there going to be an equal give and take in this situation. Now, I do feel like there is something here, um, some kind of a cycle, though, that I feel like as if you are not letting go of. There's a resistance to something ending. So let's see now um, the energy of the person you're dealing with. Let's see the energy of the person that Capricorn is connected to, please. That's too many cards. Energy of the person Capricorn is connected to, please. All right, so we have the Two of Wands, we have the Sun in Reverse, and we have the Devil. So the person you're connected with here um, is trying to choose a direction. Um, it may be a new direction. I feel as if they, they have chosen a new direction, but I don't feel that they're very clear. And what are they not clear about? Well, they're not clear about something that is toxic. It may be their behavior, it may be the situation, it, it could be your behavior um, for that matter, but there's some form of toxicity that this person is not really seeing clearly. Even though Spirit is trying to show this to them, there's and there's a sense from this person too that they're kind of on the puppet strings of somebody. Um, like somebody's pulling the strings and you know making them do this or do that. Um, Keep in mind, though, that um, we are all in charge of our own behavior, but there's something this person is not seeing clearly, and I do feel like they are kind of at a crossroads here. There's a direction that they're either choosing or have chosen. Spirit, can I have the energy of the connection for Capricorn, please? Energy of the connection between Capricorn and this person, please. Too many cards. The Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So this is a, a situation that is unstable, Capricorn. Um, I feel like um, there's not a lot of stability in this, and that's a concern. Um, also feel like there's there's a sense of not um, not nurturing. Someone's not nurturing this relationship, and I don't believe that's you, Capricorn, because over here we clearly see that you are nurturing it. So there's a sense of instability because of a lack of nurturing. What is the challenge to this to this connection? Yeah, so 
I feel like you're you're nurturing this. I, so it has to be on the other side. And that may be why you're looking to see if there is going to be an equal give and take here. But I do see, Capricorn, that you're not letting this go. And I kind of feel like the person you're involved with also um, feels kind of bound to this too. Okay, so the challenge is for, for both of you to manifest what it is that you want in this connection. So, you know, being very careful of where your attention is going. The outcome for the end of the week, we have the Five of Wands in the reverse, and we have the Strength card in reverse. So I feel like the conflict here is going to end. If there's conflict in this relationship, um, I feel like that's going to end, but I do feel like um, it's going to end with someone feeling a little bit defeated. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Judgment in reverse. So there's a sense here of not wanting to give this a second chance. Um, not wanting to repeat something here. I don't feel like that's your energy, Capricorn, because we see you waiting and holding on to something. So it might be on the behalf of the person that you're involved with. So let's just go ahead and start clarifying and see if we can get to the bottom of this. Um, why is the Six of Pentacles here for Capricorn, please? All right, so we have the Empress, and again, clarifying the Six of Pentacles, we have the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like um, you have seen your value here, Capricorn, and I feel like you are demanding a, a equal give and take. You're basically saying, um, I, I know what I'm worth. I'm not going to accept any less, and there has to be an equal give and take. I've invested in this, and now I'm waiting to see you know, are you going to match my investment here? And Capricorn, that's good energy. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? All right, so we have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Again, that's twice. And then we also have the King of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, so this is an unstable situation, and I feel as if... Um, you know, there's not a lot of work going into this. I feel as if, you know, there's a lot of waiting, um, but I don't feel, because here we see someone waiting at the crossroads, and here we see you having invested and now pulling back and waiting. So I, I feel like, you know, there's not enough proactive action being put into this, and perhaps it doesn't need to be Capricorn that there's physical 3D action, but you you are being guided to manifest. So it may be, the Spirit is guiding you here and guiding your person um, to focus upon what it is that you do want and then to, you know, let your let your manifestation be in that in that line. More on the 5D, less on the 3D. But I feel like, you know, you kind of pulled back because I, I feel as if you have put your energy into this and maybe the other person hasn't. And so that may be why this is unstable. I, I just really get the feeling, Capricorn, that you feel as if you've been breadcrumbed here and you've given as much as you're going to give. And now you want to see, is this person going to step up? But you're energetically, you're still holding on to this. Um, why is the world in reverse here? Yeah, you've pulled back. You, you may not even be communicating with this person. Um, some of you have, have pulled back entirely, um, like I said, with no communications. Other of you have just pulled back. Um, you're still holding on to the connection, but you're not going to put anything into it. You, you're not going to, like, take action. You're in, a, you're in the empress mode. The empress doesn't run and chase after. The empress sits back and waits and receives. You know, so I feel like that's your energy here. And I, I'm i not seeing it as unhealthy energy. So um, why is the Two of Wands here for the person that Capricorn is connected to? Okay, so we have the Sun and we have the Three of Wands in the reverse. So this person is progressing, um, but they're not quite there yet. It's very interesting because... We have the sun here in the upright, and here it's in the reverse. We have the, the two of wands in the upright, and here we have it in the um, reverse. So I feel as if your person is at a crossroads. They're trying to choose a direction, um, 
and I feel like they they they're a little bit in the dark. There's a, there's things that they feel like they're not they're not clear about. Um, and I feel like what they're going to do is they're not going to make this decision. I feel like there's a decision they need to make, but they're going to hold off. They're they're going to wait. They're waiting, um, even though they don't want to, for clarity. So why is the sun here? In reverse. Why is the sun in reverse? Yeah, they're confused. They're confused because they think that there's been something that's been deceptive here. Either that or they've been deceptive. So there's a little bit of confusion here. There may be something that has been discovered that has caused the confusion. Why is the devil here? It, because that makes me a little nervous to see the devil and the seven of swords right next to each other. Why is the devil here? Okay, so again, we have the judgment in reverse. And we have the seven of pentacles. So you have the seven of pentacles. They have the seven of pentacles. Uh, we have the judgment in reverse twice as well. So there's no doubt where that energy is coming from, the underlying energy. So I feel like this person, um, this person feels like something happened here that was dishonest. I feel like they're still holding on to the relationship because they feel they feel bound to this. They feel a a deep um, a deep connection here that they're not able to quite walk away from. But they're feeling like something happened here that was deceptive. They're feeling like something happened that wasn't on the up and up, and it's left them feeling a little bit confused. That being said, I feel like they have also invested a lot in this relationship and they're kind of also waiting to see what's going to happen. So you have both sides are kind of waiting, um, waiting to see what the other one's going to do. So you're a little bit mirroring each other in that aspect. Um, but I, I do feel like your person, your person is in a mode where they're trying to gain clarity and once they gain clarity i think that then they're they may move forward a little bit all right so why is the queen of pentacles in the reverse here something turn yeah. all right so we have the queen of cups in reverse we have the star in reverse, and we have temperance in reverse. Okay, so both of you have pulled back, yeah, and that's what we're seeing here with this mirroring. Um, both of you have pulled back in this relationship, so you're you're both kind of keeping your emotions to yourself. You're not really um, you're not really showing your emotions, although you both have emotions, and you're both holding on to the the connection. Um, but I feel like you're both in need of healing. And so both of you are trying to balance out, but, um, neither of you are very balanced at this time. And I feel like, um, as you each heal yourselves, that that balance will come in and then the emotions can then be shared. So the, the obstacle here is the magician. So can I clarify the magician, please? Yeah. All right, so Capricorn, um, the magician is clarified by the high priestess on your side. So, you know, for you, you need to kind of get in touch with your um, intuition, okay? And for the person on the other side, whatever this was that they feel was deceptive, let them feel betrayed. And so they have to heal that. They have to let go of these feelings of betrayal. Um, they have to be able to heal themselves from that. 
and you're being guided Capricorn to listen to your intuition and to manifest from a place of, of intuition versus a place of hurt. Spirit, can I have three cards for the outcome, please? So we have the Nine of Cups in reverse, we have the Eight of Cups, and we have the Six of Wands. So by the end of the week, I do see the conflict decreasing. Um, however, it, it is going to leave somebody feeling a little bit um, defeated. So feeling defeated, however, ending the conflict. Um, and I feel like that's going to be you, um, Capricorn. I, because your person is coming out with the the six of wands, so I feel like um, your person is going to feel a little bit more triumphant somehow in this for some reason. Um, I do think that at the end of the week the conflict is going to end, but there is there is going to be a walking away. I don't see this relationship coming back together at the end of the week. Keep in mind, though, that this is the energy for a week. It's not forever. And this looks like it's a very complicated situation. It didn't get here in a week, and it's not going to resolve in a week. I don't think you're going to be happy with the outcome by the end of the week. Um, and, and if you don't walk away from it, I feel like you're going to want to. Um, because I feel like, you know, it's just not panning out the way you want it to. Remember, though, Spirit is guiding you to listen to your intuition and to manifest from that place. Um, so while the conflict is going to decrease or end, you're not going to be satisfied with the outcome. Now, for the person you're dealing with here, um, Capricorn, I do feel like they're either going to want to walk away or will have walked away. But I see a little bit of hubris here. I see a little bit of pride. And, you know, I... At the end of the day, I feel like both of you are going to be actually feeling somewhat defeated. But I think I feel like this person is not really going to show it. This person is going to act as if they they've won something here, as if they've won out. But honestly, for them to actually move forward and to or, or move forward with this connection, I feel like. Um, I feel like they are are going to have to let go of this pride. They're going to have to let go of these feelings of being wounded. It appears to me that this person feels as if something happened here that was dishonest. And they it left them feeling very confused. I feel like they're trying to choose a, a new direction. They're at a crossroads. And right now, this person is just feeling like the investment that they made um, just didn't pan out for them either. And I feel like you know, they're, they're kind of looking at the negatives of it. And there's something here about them not wanting to give this a second chance. Um, but like I said, this is for a week and this, this is a long, long term thing that's been going on. I don't think that that's the end of it, to be honest with you. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the three of cups in the reverse. So I feel like, you know, you're not going to be very happy, um, with the outcome here at, at the end of the week. But keep your chin up because remember that spirit is guiding you to um, to manifest from a place of intuition, not the 3D. Okay, so let's get um, lovers oracles for you, for the person you're connected with, and for the connection. All right, so for you. Capricorn, we have trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. So you're being guided here to accept what is and to manifest from a place of intuition. Let's get a card for the person you're connected to, Capricorn. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. So your person is being guided to find balance between, um, between 
you know, a supportive relationship and a challenging. It's not always the people who who agree with us that, uh, you know, help us out the most. Sometimes it's those that challenge us. Um, and Spirit, can I have a card for the connection itself? Oh. Forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events, for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. Okay, so forgiveness is going to have to take place in this relationship on both sides in order to bring this about. And keep in mind that, you know, the challenge here is manifesting. And so it's directly talking about you create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So again, um, Capricorn, you're being guided to really watch your thoughts right now and to focus from your intuition, um, keeping in mind all the beautiful things that you see about this relationship not from the current 3D um, reality of what you're seeing, all right? So I hope this has been helpful to you, Capricorn. Um, if you would, like and share the video to help with the circulation. And also, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Comment below. I do read all your comments. And until I see you next time, Capricorn, namaste.